Every day, Cesar Pineda receives bales and bales of used electronics at Homeboy Electronics Recycling's warehouse east of downtown Los Angeles. Some from big corporations, others from locals dropping off used devices. You see, we, we have laptops, we have uh, uh, servers, we have TVs. We recycle um, on phones, we have iPhones, Nokia's, Samsung's, like some <laughs> pretty old phones. Electronic waste was the fastest growing domestic waste stream in the world in 2019. But less than 20% of it is actually recycled around the world. And here's why that's a problem. Most of it ends up in landfills or informally recycled, leaking hazardous chemicals into landfills and exposing people to carcinogenic chemicals. Basically, uh, uh, our mission is to uh, uh, keep out these uh, uh, precious metals like out of uh, landfills and at the same time um, help out people uh, have like a, a second chance. When I was 14, um, I, I was incarcerated like for six years um, for armed robberies and, 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 and kidnapping. So when I came out of jail, like uh, uh, chances of, uh, of landing uh, employment was like really hard. But, but this place has, has given me that chance to uh, uh, reintegrate back, back into society. Founded in 2018, Homeboy Electronics Recycling is a social enterprise that's part of a larger organization called Homeboy Industries. The organization gives formerly incarcerated individuals, among other people, training to obtain skilled jobs. At this warehouse in Los Angeles, 75% of the employees were previously incarcerated or involved in gangs. People, uh, uh, if they're given a, a chance to, to be employed, to actually have a job, they, uh, they, they would rather do that than to go back out into the streets and, and be committing crimes. Homeboy Electronics Recycling processed about 1,000 tons of waste in 2018 a small dent in the 50 million tons of e-waste the world produced that year. What Homeboy does alone is by no means a solution to Los Angeles' e-waste problem, let alone the country's, but it could provide a blueprint for other cities. Environmentalist groups have long advocated for what's called a circular economy for electronics, which says that devices that are no longer in use, like your old iPhone, should be recycled in part because it's estimated we lose $57 billion in precious minerals when electronics aren't recycled. What companies like Homeboy are calling for is a circular economy, yes, but also for that circular economy to create new jobs for people who've been involved in gangs or incarcerated. At Homeboy, it's estimated that 100,000 pounds of e-waste create one new job. Obviously, I came here with uh, limited skills. Um, I've been here like over six years, so 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 I have like learned new th things. Like 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 every day we learn something new. Formerly incarcerated people faced an unemployment rate of 27% in 2018, similar to rates we saw during the Great Depression. In 2015, after years of looking for stable work but struggling to find any, Bineda joined Homeboy's training program. Today. Pineda is helping major tech clients who he says he can't name wipe computers, data centers, and phones and resell them. That, that, that's why now I think back when I was uh, that age and uh, me out there being in, in the streets and in the gang, and now I see myself, what I do. Now that I look back and, and everything that I did, I, I would like take it all back, take it all back. Now I see that, 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 that that I could be a, a, a productive uh, member of a society.